Right, we're just with the Iron Man of Enduro, David Knight. David, good to see you. Good to be here, yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a privateering at the moment? Uh, well, no KTM UK now, so right. um, I'm doing that for all British stuff. It's not been an ant yet, an ant yet. Not, not done a press release. <laughs> but um, no, just uh, for indoors, I'm sort of, you know, I'm getting the bikes off KTM and then running my own sort of thing for indoors. Um, and then here, yeah, KTM UK and just run my own thing I've got playing a mechanic in and uh, yeah good to be good getting a bit of help again uh, really we watched you on uh, Red Bull TV at the uh, pole and uh, top effort there coming you know getting second overall uh, yeah we saw that you were really pleased with that yeah I was over the moon because like you know a lot of people forget I've been second the last two years in the championship but it's taken a lot to get there this year hell of a lot to get there you know with deals and and you know finding the budget to go to it and you know but I mean, 20 month old lad and a six week old baby at home. It, it, it's hard, you know, real yeah. hard. And I got there, you know, I was just play it by ear and try and do one by one and, and see how I get on. And um, to start like that, when I'm, I don't feel prepared at all, really, it's, you know, it was, I was well happy with it. So um, I can, you know, get this weekend out of the way and then I can get, get a bit of training done, push on a little bit. And, uh, you know, I'm not expecting to go and win it, but I know I can push Taddy. I know I can win, win races. Yeah. So, um, anything can happen, you know, so you've got to be in it to win it, so I'll just uh, do as much as I can, you know, between now and the next race and uh, see what happens. I know we, we, we saw that you were at uh, a local uh, venue in, in the UK, Uncle Eddie's, for some training. How did that go there? Yeah, again, you know, it's hard to it's hard to find somewhere in the UK, like I've got my own track, but I've done that many laps, it's, it's sort of, it's not so much fun anymore, and then it's, you're doing the same lap, so you know it inside out, you know, and you go backwards and forwards, and then and then me and McCanny built another one um, in the Isle of Man that's like, you know, completely different ground, like slate old quarry. Um, so that there, that's good. And I only did a day on that, to be honest. And when I picked my bike up, Uncle Eddie's there, uh, ended up going there. And uh, it surprised me a lot, really. It was good. It was just what I needed to, you know, only had about three hours there. But it, it was good to add a, a guy there, uh, Steve Payne, that's done all the, the ignition and mapping and stuff on my bike. And that day I went, was it was a brand new stock motocross bike and we just put that ignition on and a pipe, you know, just to check and go through what I like and just to do a bit of testing. So that's all the only testing I did on the bike and, you know, I threw my suspension in it and, and went there. So that's another, you know, when I get home, I can bring the bike back from here and, um, and then do a little bit more work on it then really. But just getting time, everything, you know. Another bike you're riding this weekend, is it a 300? Yeah, 300 XE I'm riding here. So... It's the one I did the World Championship race in Italy on the other month and finished second on. So, um, again, pretty standard bike, just suspension and handlebars, really, and um, FMF pipe. And, you know, it's, it's good enough for the job. Good, good. It'll be better than what I will be. <laughs> well, good luck this weekend. Nice good one. talking to you. Good All to right, be mate. here. Cheers. Yeah. Nice so, over yeah. What have you got, you know, in terms of the setup this week and anything special on it for protection or all? It's, no, really, it's a, a bog standard 300 XE. I use the XE bike because I prefer the linkage on the on these ones and the, yeah. the PDS for me. Just feel more comfortable on it with my size, I don't know, but... Um, so I use this one, which is the American version. Um, and, you know, the only thing really, handlebars... Forks and shock, the, your cone valve stuff that you buy. Yeah. yeah. Um, them forks actually are about eight year old. Right, one of my old factory <laughs> bikes. Um, and then met, metal the tyres on it. Yeah. FMF pipe. I'll put a longer sound on for tomorrow. Put a short one on for this. I put knackered tyres on for this for the prologue. Cause, prologue yeah. yeah, it don't matter right there. No, no. Um, for the main event, you'll need. And yeah, it's, it's pretty. You know, it's even got bog standard jetting in it. Really? Because it's, yeah, it just runs spot on. It's one of them bikes that I got, I bought it, and it was mint, you know, from stock. It was, yeah. you know, jet and everything doesn't happen very often. Yeah. You always got to tinker just, around with them. Want, and yeah. it's always been good, you know. We richened it up, actually, for put it back. I always drop it, the clip on the needle, lean it a little bit, but um, put it back for this bit richer. 
cold as well. Um, and yeah, this is one I rode in Italy at the World Enduro, exactly how it is now. And um, just a good, solid bike, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it should be the best machine for the job, really. Yeah. Good two stroke. And as long as, as long as the carb doesn't start icing up on it tomorrow That's and jamming right, yeah. open. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Well, let you get it started up and warm up.